Hi, this is Nick with PSI Power. Today we're going to be installing this Ag Diesel Solutions module on this 2018 F-150 35 EcoBoost behind me. Just to give you a little preview of what our kit includes, it's going to come with the stop sheet and full color install instructions that are going to help you get the module installed without any issues. It's going to have the module itself, a four position switch that you can route into the cab if so desired, your module harness that'll plug into a few different sensors under the hood and then zip ties to make sure everything's secure once you're done installing it. Getting started with our install, you're going to have to remove the engine top cover right here. You're going to need a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket to reach the two nuts down inside here. Once you loosen those, it should lift right off. Set that to the side and then that should give you access to the connectors needed for the rest of the install. With the top cover removed, the first sensor you're going to want to go to is the MAP sensor located at the back of the intake manifold close to the firewall. You're going to pull back on that locking tab, depress down on the release lever and gently pull the connector outwards. You're then going to take our harness included in the kit labeled MAP sensor. You're going to plug our harness into theirs until you hear an audible click and then lock that locking tab again. And then take our other connector and go into the factory sensor. With the MAP sensor installed, you're next going to come here to the T-MAP sensor located on the boost tube right before the throttle plate. Again, you're just going to undo that locking tab, depress and pull back on that sensor. You're then going to take our set of connectors labeled T-MAP. First plug it in to their harness until you hear that audible click and then hit that locking tab again. And then you're going to take the other connector and go into the factory sensor. Make sure it's locked into place. With the two sets of connectors installed, you're going to route the harness up near the driver's side firewall for mounting of the module. As you'll notice here, our harness will come included with the bypass plug. Make sure to hold on to the bypass plug in case you have any issues or need to return the vehicle back to stock configuration. You can either zip tie it to the harness itself or throw it inside of the truck. Otherwise, you're going to take our module here, plug it into the end of the harness, and then secure it in place with zip ties. Lastly, you're going to install our four position switch. Plugs into the lead right here. And from here, you can either just zip tie it underneath the hood of the truck. It's what a lot of our customers do. It's not going to be a problem at all. Or if you so desire, there's enough lead here to route it inside of the cab. Either way, your four positions as such, all the way counterclockwise is going to be your stock, low, medium, and then all the way clockwise is your highest setting. Thank you for joining us today installing this module. If you have any questions, feel free to call the number below or visit our website. Thanks.